Hey folks, welcome back to Let's Play uh, Chocobo Choco Edition. I'm Chocobo. Uh, last time we did Chocobo stuff. This time we're not going to do any more Chocobo stuff, other than, I guess, just kind of Chocobo will continue to exist here. I do want to uh, showcase something. We've got our party of Vivi, Zidane, Ferreira, and Kina, or Quina, or whatever. Uh, who has a giant tongue. I don't remember if, uh... Yeah, we haven't... We haven't had Kina in combat yet, have we? Let's walk around for a moment. And see if we can figure out anything cool to do with Kina. I don't think I care about uh, stealing from these guys. But you will see Kina has a special command called Eat. And you'll also see that uh, Zidane appears to be strong enough to one-shot these guys, so we don't really want that. We stole ore. I can no eat until it's weaker! Until it's weaker? Can no eat until it weaker. Well, I'm thinking Freya might finish it off at this point. So let's have uh, Vivi just chip away at it little by little. Because uh, Zidane did like 300 something damage to one and killed it immediately. And Freya's doing like 70 something a pop. This is this is the annoying thing about this. So the eat command allows you to defeat an enemy, but it has to be at less than it has to be at like twenty five percent health or less. I believe is how it works. So you end up having to like chip away at it. And you learn Aqua Breath. Sitting on a park bench. Anyway. So yeah, uh, this is the blue mag magic system in this game. Rather than getting hit with blue magic, uh, if Queena eats enemies, she learns their special powers. <laughs> now, it's annoying. It does mean that you don't have to, like, enter into situations where an enemy has a skill and it won't use it on you. I guess that's nice. Um, and enemies that you've already, that either don't have a magic to teach you or that you've already uh, learned their magic... Because she tries to eat it, it just says tastes terrible or something like that, but the enemy is still defeated. Sure, nice, nice. The other thing is that, um. I completely forgot what the other thing was. It's gonna say something, and I've, I've totally lost it. Okay, that's handy. So, Zidane doesn't one-shot these, which means that at least 
we know that we probably got a... Yeah, we learned Mighty Guard. So we got a good chunk of the way there from that enemy. And you can actually see what Queen Queen's attacks are like. But only if this enemy survives. Pretty damn good, actually. Why did Queen get such a high-end hit there? She might have like an over-the-top good weapon for this stage of the game. Where that I think she has a really high critical hit rate. Um, because that was doing that's more damage than Sedan. What the hell? Yeah, okay. So I'm not sure why she was quite that powerful there, but, uh... Well, we got a bunch of Germia Germ Germanus boots. Boots that raise strength. Wait. Scarf that raises strength and boots that raise strength. Or cart. Stores HP, equip as an add-on. I still don't understand what that's about, actually. Anyway, there's a bunch of enemies around here that we can learn spells from. Uh, and I don't know how many times you guys want to see me show off that mechanic before we say... Okay, we, we have seen that mechanic. Like, seeing the different enemies. There's... Um, Kind of intimidating, dragony looking enemies that we haven't uh, run into yet. I guess I, I got it in my mind that you should see that because it's kind of the the highest and nastiest uh, random encounter we can get at this point. I'm uh, purple blowing bubbles. Oh, we just tranced out uh, a boy. And level up, bitches. I want to say that you can encounter it here. Or maybe it's closer to the chocobos that I remember encountering it before. Chocobo Forest. But yeah, you saw Kina's uh, more normal attack. I think we just uh, led off with a critical... say around here there was a I remember encountering a uh, particularly nasty regular enemy that you guys should see at least once before we sort of leave this uh, geographic area behind I guess with the chocobo I can kind of show you the ge geography of the area there's various places we can go but not a whole hell of a lot to do you are not the one Billy gun I'm pretty convinced that, uh, yeah, that Zidane would one-shot this creature if, uh, he attacked it. I also think it steals items and runs away, but we managed to eat it. And that, that enemy in particular did appear to be a sentient creature. It was wearing clothes. <laughs> it was using tools. Like, I'm not sure if that thing was supposed to be, uh... Like, you know, just a criminal uh, who was trying to rob us, or if it's some kind of, like, goblin-y type of deal where it's, not, it, it's hostile towards humans, but it, they do have some kind of rudimentary culture, and, like, and here's the enemy that I've been waiting to actually just to, to see. I think this will even survive an attack from Zidane. Probably not two, though. <clears throat> I 
Alright, it's not weak enough yet. I'm thinking Zidane will probably finish it if he attacks it. But yeah, it's got like magic and stuff. It doesn't like uh, to be messed with. Alright, Kina, let's finish this. We learned Angel Snack. Doesn't that creature look like something that would teach you a skill called Angel Snack? And Kina learned Antibody, and we got an Ironite card. Everything's coming up, Privia. Alright, so I think there's a, there's a... I know there's some frog-like enemies around here that you can learn a frog spell from. There's various things going on, but we uh, are at a point where we still got lots of uh, lots of safe slots that I can load from, including one where I learned all the blue magic that is to be learned around here, obviously. So this uh, causes water damage to all enemies. Aqua Breath, of course, you've seen that in other games. Uh, this one casts Shell and Protect on all party members. The famous Mighty Guard Vanish makes a party member disappear. I believe in this game. That makes them impossible for enemies to hit with melee attacks, but they take extra damage from magic attacks, and if they're hit by a magic attack, vanish immediately wears, like, disappears. And the problem with almost all positive status boost game uh, spells in this game is that, like, they're not permanent, or, or rather, permanent. They don't, like, last for the entirety of a battle, and then have to be recast at the beginning of the next battle. Like, they just last a couple turns and then go. Angel Snack uses Remedy on all party members. Uh, Kina brings Sutex Gift of Death to all humans. I might be thinking of something else. But what I think I'm going to do now is uh, go to the title screen. And I'm going to load a different slot here. And we are going to do uh, 11, 11, 20, 22. Yeah, this is, it's been over a year now. Nine thirty-seven. here we go. <laughs> but this is Gizmaluk's Grotto, which is where we need to go. Uh, everyone's at level 17. They were like at level 10 before, so we obviously did some leveling. Even if I'm trying not to level up too much at this stage of the game, I, I'm trying to find and fight spread, and people can learn their skills without gaining too much experience. Because the later in the game you do your actual leveling, the better equipment you have, and equipment affects your stat increases in this game. Uh, not that this is this. A lot of people have a lot of really fond memories. Oh, and you can see 43. Hours. Yeah, this is where. I think it got crazy with, uh, let's see, do we have people with, equipped with Robe of Lords and Protect Rings? Yeah, this is where, uh, I got four Protect Rings, and I think I got, like, three Robes of Lords. Uh, because you always have to have Zidane in the party, and I don't believe he's allowed to equip the Robe of Lords. So, the most you could ever need at any given time is three. Uh, so at this point, I think we've got three lo robes of lords, even if one of them isn't equipped. I might be wrong about that. Maybe we've only got two. Ninety-nine guy shawl greens and a bitch ain't one. Uh... Yeah, we might only have two robes of lords. Shame on me, huh? I'm not sure. Cause yeah, I'd have to I'd had to kinda go out of my way to have a party made up of robes of lords users. I might have just held that off as like the only thing I don't have uh because they do have four protect rings, and there's another way to get a robe of lords in the game. It just won't be for a while. But uh, we can see uh, Kina's ability. We learned level 3 defenseless and limit glove from something or other. 
which introduces defensive enemies whose levels are uh, visible by three. Limit Glove causes non elemental damage to the target when your HP is one. Pumpkin Head damages with the difference between your max HP and current HP. Frog Drop. It's the finisher of the Heartbreak Frog, Shawn Michaels. Sorry. The amount of damage depends on the number of frogs you've caught. And, oh, Mustard Bomb causes heat to the enemy. All right. So there's more uh, spells to learn here than I realized, actually. <laughs> but probably the big thing is, uh, yeah, with uh, with this gear that we have now, like... Uh, He's got 48 defense. He's not supposed to have 48 defense. The Robe of Lords is like the best robe in the game. So right now, like our best defense characters are our two spellcasters because they have crazy high defense thanks to Robe of Lords. Protect Ring uh, also adds a little bit to defense, but not that much, honestly. Protects you from various attacks, elemental defense, all elemental damage reduced by 50%. So that's pretty good. I think the Robe of Lords, the greatest robe. Yeah, it, it nullifies all wind damage. So basically, we're far more powerful than we're supposed to be, is I guess what I'm what I'm getting at. Alright. Uh I am a bit lost here. All right. Other than so, other than uh, the fact that you guys missed some of the enemy types, uh, there's nothing like really impressive or super amazing uh, for you guys to have seen. But yeah, we kind of did. Uh, oh. So we've dug up the only two choker graphs we can. There's several choker graphs that we I could keep going and get more choker graphs. Although actually, now that I think about that, yeah. So in this one, we've got all the uh, oh jeez, JG. I intentionally didn't get these because I wanted to show it on screen, and but. The treasure's buried near a River Coupo, but I don't think it'll be easy to find. This is a beach near a huge giant. There's a beach near a huge giant forest. That might be it, Koopo. This looks like a cold place, Koopo. Yeah, these, I, I guess I didn't realize that I would be getting them on screen. Or off screen. Yeah. I, okay, so we should get these again. But uh, I believe then the next time I load a uh, slot, we won't have <laughs> it either. So I'm not sure when we, uh, when am I off screen, I got those. But apparently at this point, I collected all the chocographs, but didn't actually go to do them yet. Because I thought that that was a thing I would need to do on screen, not realizing that I would do it on screen in a different uh, thing. I do want to actually, there's a... Uh, There's a little place that we can explore, or at least just find up here. Okay, it's annoying that I can't get to it from here, but you, I think you saw it in the distance. If I'm riding around on my Chocobo, uh, if I cross the bridge to Chocobo Forest Zone. You'll see it. Oh, that's South Gate. This says Baden Arch. No, but we had the cinematic over here. We saw our friends. And they picked up a treasure uh, that I guess we don't get to get. Never mind, we don't get to do anything here. Except that I think there's a... Uh... 
Did I already do this or something? There's supposed to be, uh... Well, no, this is... This water looks clean. Take a sip. HP and MP restored. It says, grab the ether from the field icon on the far end of the bridge. It's near a post on the right. And grab the mocha coffee key item from the base of the large tree on the far right. I was thinking I was at the wrong screen, but then it says there is a branch. It says, it says there's, a, there's a spring here, which heals you. I don't know, I'm supposed to grab a mocha coffee key item, but it's just like supposed to be sitting there. Now I'm wondering like they're calling this Bowden Arch, saying it's north of Chocobo Forest. Maybe there's something else north of Chocobo Forest. And that's not the actual place. It just they both happen to have springs. I don't know. I'm getting myself very confused now. I thought we would make, uh... I thought we would be in the next dungeon by this point, but now I'm... trying to find this, uh... this thing that was north of Chocobo Forest. Alright, so this is Chocobo Forest. And this is north. I think this is it. I don't know why, uh... Fak is calling it Bowden Arch, and I'm calling it, it's seeing it called South Gate. Maybe I did visit here off screen and collected the coffee item, and I'm just losing my mind. But that would be super easy for me to check. Because it's a key item. Mocha coffee. Yeah. Well, coffee. Sipping coffee at sunrise is the best thing life has to offer, y'all. Cinna, closet lover de cafe. It's not really a closet lover if she's just like openly telling people that the best thing in life is to crush your enemies, to see them driven before you, and to sip on coffee. I've, I've gradually come to the realization that like the best thing in life is to just go to a restaurant with somebody that you haven't talked to in a while and talk to them while, you know, waiting for food. <laughs> I enjoy that a lot. All right, let's go to Gizmaluk's Grotto here. And I'm feeling good about the fact that it gave us that little intro text. I was starting to worry that I was on a save slot, but we've already seen some of this. Nah. Come on, and get up. Oh, damn it, I said something. I forgot I'm supposed to have this voice. Oh, man. The black mages, who are they? Um, uh... It's okay. You didn't do anything. Baby, aren't they your... Ah! The king about the band, Benjar. Ah, come on. I sure hope Dagger didn't come here. Let's go. Queen Ant, not going to get any lines here because uh, she's optional in your party at this point. Talk to these two fellows. Either of you want to play cards? Okay, they are dead. Dead, dead, dead. They are dead. Surf them right. Hee, hee, hee. All right, upon entering, there'll be a scene. You'll be... All right, take the right fork. Straight to the dude. Maybe I'll try and do this without referring too much to the fact, but... Because uh, there's a pretty specific way you have to clear this place. Push the door. It might budge. Looks like I need a card key. 
Oh crap, enemies are here. So they're gonna be, uh, no, they're not, uh, they're not black mages or anything like that. Queen is a uh, weird posture, or just bizarre posing. <laughs> All right, let's try to eat some bones. There's no possible way that that would be a bad idea. Well, for its fabulous world slash move. But we still want its, its famous ore. The famous skeleton ore. The famous skeleton ore. Tastes bad. That thing's fucking gross. <laughs> I mean, tastes bad. And we know not to eat bones anymore. We probably should have made an educated guess that eating bones is a bad idea anyway. Unless it's Fallout and you got that perk to allow you to eat corpses. Which just, yeah, that's a weird one. I don't know how often that one's useful. I, I don't think I've ever taken the cannibal perk in Fallout 3. Well, I'm going to call it a video there. When we come back next time, uh, we will not be cannibals. See you then.